People constantly ask me about products for dry skin, but I think the first question you should ask is do you have dry skin or dehydrated skin? Because there is a difference and today we're gonna address it. So let's talk about the difference between dryness and dehydration. So dryness or dry skin is a skin type. But when you're talking about dehydrated skin, it's a skin condition and any dehydration can be a skin condition. So first let's talk about dehydrated skin because that's the most, probably the biggest issue that I encounter. People tell me they have dry skin, but really they have dehydrated skin. The main difference between dryness and dehydrated skin is dehydrated skin lacks water. You want that water in your skin, whereas dry skin is the one that lacks oil. It's best to think of your skin as layers. We have our outer layer and we have our inner layer of skin. And when you're dehydrated, your outer layers and your lower layers are the ones that are dehydrated and they lack that water and they're just looking for those nutrients for your skin. And one of the signs that you can see when you do have dehydrated skin is when you see those fine lines. And when you have those fine lines, you can put a moisturizer on and it can, you know, decrease the fine lines and sometimes make them invisible. So that's when you have dehydration. And what I tend to give advice to, even though I'm only 23, is to not get Botox or filler when you're young. Because I see a lot of people my age, I even have Botox in my forehead, but it's really not the fine lines that you see, it's the dehydration in your skin. So at a younger age, when you think you have fine lines, wrinkles, and you need Botox, you actually, your skin's just dehydrated. A lot of other signs of dehydration in your skin are redness, congestion, inflammation. A lot of other people tell me they have like acne flare-ups or they have rosacea, but honestly, they probably just have dehydrated skin. So that brings us to what can cause dehydrated skin. So there's a lot of outer parts that can cause dehydrated skin, but let's talk about the products that are causing your dehydrated skin. So it can be as simple as overwashing your skin. Maybe you're using a soap. A lot of people talk about how using soap on your skin can disturb the pH level, but it can also affect the dehydration in your skin. You also could be over exfoliating your skin, like using too much salicylic acid that's really stripping your skin and over drying your skin. That's why I tell people to start simple with your skincare routine and then you can start to add on those extra products for your skin. I say to start simple so you can see what's really going on with your skin, so you can actually see what is going on with the pH balance. The outer skin. factors, the weather, we are headed into winter, so that's when I find that my skin is the most dry. Cold air is low humidity air, and that can really cause your skin to dry out, be tight and dry, and that is dehydrated skin. Things such as a heater, even a heater can cause more dehydration in your skin. So if you're not drinking enough water and replenishing yourself, you're gonna be dehydrated. Your skin's gonna be dehydrated. And let's also throw in the fact that if you're drinking alcohol, drinking sodas, caffeine, that can also play in the factors of dehydrated skin. Now we're gonna be talking about dry skin. We talk about dehydrated skin lacking water, but dry skin actually lacks the oil. So what that really means is it's um, it's lacking the sebaceous activity that's producing the oil in your skin. Some ways that you can identify dry skin is dry skin tends to feel really tight. It tends to be flaky. It tends to be a little bit more irritated. And when you tend to look at your brows, your mouth, your nose, you can see that you have a little bit of that flakiness. The thing to keep in mind about dry skin is with dry skin, you actually lack lipids that help retain that moisture of your skin. And that leads to not really having a strong barrier for your skin. And the way to really getting that moisturized skin is using heavy moisturizer and inclusive. So how do you cure dry skin? That's really a little bit of a strange question since you can't really cure dry skin, but you can do things for your skin that will make the appearance better and just to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable. Just some dry skin tips, you wanna avoid the foam cleansers. I talk about foam cleansers a lot because they overwash your skin and they dry your skin out. And a big reason why I'm not a big fan of foam cleansers is because you're trying to avoid that SLS, the sodium lauryl sulfate, which is basically the, what makes the foam in your shampoo, your cleansers, and that's what's really irritating and over drying your skin. But it's easy to shop for. You can find any type of foam cleanser. If you, if you prefer the foam cleanser, there's some, find some with amino acids. Those are great for your skin, but try to avoid the sodium lauryl sulfate. 
So when it comes to moisturizers, this is a little bit different when you have dry skin. Dry skin can really take control of those heavy occlusives of your skin. It can use more oils on your skin. You want to look for any product that has ceramides in your skin. Any product at Walmart, Target, Sephora, Ulta, you want to look for those ceramides. And I'm saying looking for ceramides because you want to restore those lipids so your skin can retain its moisture. And with ceramides and lipids, you want to do that because it's going to make your skin barrier stronger and it's going to make your skin actually better. Making your skin actually better? Oh, see, this is why I'm not a YouTuber, y'all. I, 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 I meant to say make it stronger. Now, I have not talked about coconut oil. I'm not a big fan. If you like to use coconut oil, do it. But, <laughs> but as much as I dislike coconut oil, it's because I have sensitive skin. So if you have dry skin and you're like, woo, coconut oil, well then use it. So if I'm gonna recommend any product, I used to use all the expensive products like La Mer, SK2, but if I were to recommend an affordable night cream for dry skin, it would be the CeraVe night cream. It is incredible. And it also contains a peptide complex. And guys, peptides are humectants. They're amino acids at the end of the day. And if you don't know what that does, they make your skin more supple and more plump. And if you don't like using products, I think one of the highest things that I would love to use and what you should use to hydrate your skin is just having a humidifier in your room. The humidifier really just adds that extra moisture in the air and the moisture gets into your skin and it keeps it from getting dehydrated. So at the end of the day for dry skin, you wanna skip the harsh cleansers. You wanna look for ceramides at your local store. You want to don't over exfoliate. I cannot stress this enough. Do not over exfoliate. I see people with the say knives at apricot scrub and y'all are just scrubbing your face away till it's dry. Don't do that. Skip the harsh cleansers and just go on Amazon, eBay and get a cool mist humidifier. Great for your skin. So that is the difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin. I know it can be a little confusing with the two. I tried to break it down in the most general way that I knew how to, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Send me a DM. My Instagram is here. Follow me, subscribe, and thank you for watching. It's best to think...